there's challenging, there's hard, and then there's this. Forget bullet hell, this is missile hell. Here's a game that'll require every ounce of pure skill you can muster up, and only just to make do. It's Bangayo HD Missile Fury on Xbox Live Arcade, the fourth in the Bangayo series from Treasure. Now this one isn't quite your typical shmup. It actually bears much more resemblance to a platforming game, infused with dual stick shooting elements like those found in Geometry Wars. However, despite bending the rules on what a shmup actually is, Bangayo HD is more than bullet heaven worthy. After all, in the 2007 Shmup Top 10 from Casually Hardcore, the Dreamcast version got a very close honorable mention. So what exactly makes this game worth playing? Let's take a look. Now, dual stick shooters are one thing, but Bangayo is a completely different beast. The gameplay really emphasizes risk reward like no other does. Case in point, you're actually encouraged to collide with missiles at times. Not to mention, you'll get the biggest counterattacks by getting as close as possible to danger without dying. And more often than not, it's easier said than done. So basically, here's how the mechanic boils down you can shoot in 360 degrees, and you can move independently of your shots. But in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't do much in terms of damage. That's where your counterattacks and your dash comes in. It will literally be impossible for you to save off enemy attack with your normal shots alone. And that's where a counterattack or a well-aimed dash comes in handy. Some enemies are able to reflect your counterattacks though, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Even dashing into them can sometimes be ineffective, which is where the freeze mechanic comes in. By pressing the dash button without moving around, you can freeze all enemies and projectiles within a certain radius. This can also help you get a massive counterattack going, and will be the only way you can take out certain enemies. Bangayo sure does walk a fine line when it comes to difficulty as well. In some cases, your counterattacks or dashes can even be disabled, which will really push your problem-solving skills to the max. Anyone who calls our type the thinking man shooter definitely hasn't played Bangayo. So how long does the punishment last? Over a hundred levels. A hundred! And here's the thing. What you see here is the Fury Mode, which is only comprised of about 46 stages. If you can make it through the Fury Mode, the real hard stages start, which is kind of unfathomable to think, considering how hard it already is. But beyond that, there's also two-player online co-op, as well as the ability to create your own levels. This gives Bangayo quite a bit of staying power, as when you're finished with the hellish levels that are included, you can create your own devious ones yourself, and dish out the pain to anyone who's willing to download them. One thing's for sure though, when it comes to this game, bragging rights are definitely yours if you can make it through. Thankfully, on your way through all of these stages, the presentation holds up really well. Everything is bright and clearly defined, and the sound is pretty decent as well, even if it is ripped off wholesale from the Dreamcast game. Well, for the most part anyway, there are some unique pieces in this game as well. The only thing that I can complain about is that there's no actual story mode, and that means no super bizarre translations, which is a good or a bad thing depending how you look at it. So when it all comes down to it, just how does Bangayo HD Missile Fury stack up? Let's take a look. Okay, the moment of truth. Now, with a game like this, you have to have tight control, or you fail. Luckily, the control is tight, so you can make it through with a bit of ingenious thinking, or sheer luck. With over 100 stages and the ability to make your own, the length is off the chart as well. In terms of challenge, I'd normally dock a game for being obnoxiously hard, but that's just how Bangayo is. And it's not obnoxiously hard to the point of not being able to beat it. It just requires a bit of patience. 
The visuals and sound are also quite solid. And with some of the most insidious well thought out levels, numerous puzzle aspects, multiple weapons for multiple stages, and often being required to fly into a swarm of over a thousand missiles, Bangayo HD is quite ingenious. Now you can see here that the score is more than positive, but it's still a game that I can't recommend to everybody. This is a game that's going to cost people controllers. This is a game that almost cost me controllers, and in previous versions it nearly cost me a DSi. But despite this difficulty, as long as you've got the patience for it, it's still recommended. At just 800 Microsoft points on XBLA, anybody with the patience should definitely pick this one up. Because hey, if you can beat this, bragging rights are instantly yours.